Let's use a variable section sweep in order to create a wave washer, also known as a spring washer. And so I'll create a new part and I'll call it wave washer and click the OK button. And my part is started. Let's turn on my datum plane visibility. The first thing I'm going to create in here is going to be a sketch for the trajectory for the variable section sweep. And I'm going to sketch on the datum plane called top. And when I click on it from the mini toolbar, I can click on the sketch tool. And I'm just going to sketch a circle. And let's change the diameter to a value of 1. To finish off in sketch mode, I'll right mouse click and click on the check mark. And now my sketch is created. Before I build the variable section sweep though, I'm going to create a couple of different parameters to drive my feature. And to access your parameters, you can get to it from the tools menu and choose parameters. It's also available on the model tab from the model intent drop down menu. You can choose parameters in here. Uh, but this is something I use so often, I've added it to my quick access toolbar. And I highly recommend that you configure the quick access toolbar for any uh, commands that you use frequently. And my first parameter that I'm going to create is going to be the number of waves in my wavy washer. And I'm going to change the type from real number to integer. And let's start off with six waves. And let's also create a parameter for the height or sort of like the amplitude of this wavy washer. I'm going to start it with an initial value of 0.1. So now I can click OK. I've got my new parameters created. To start the variable section sweep, I'll select my trajectory. And from the mini toolbar, we have the sweep command. And on the dashboard, first I'm going to generate this as a non-solid surface feature. And I also want it to have a variable section, so I'll use this button to change it from a simple sweep. Now let's go into the sketch of the section. I'm going to turn off my datum plane visibility. And the sketch for this is just going to be a horizontal line. And I like my diameter controlling the OD, so I'm sketching the line to the inside. And have that length be a value of 2. I'm not going to change this dimension because this dimension is going to be driven by a relation and that's what's going to make my wavy washer. To access my relations, you can go to the tools tab and choose relations or access it from the quick access toolbar like I've configured it. All right, and so when I open up the relations dialog box, it toggles the dimensions from their numeric to their symbolic forms. And I'll select the SD4 dimension. And I'm going to have that be equal to sine times 360 times tragpar. And tragpar is a special variable that exists in the trajectories for variable section sweeps. Tragepar has a value of zero at the beginning of the trajectory, and the value increases as you go around to a maximum value of one at the end of the trajectory. So having this dimension be multiplied by sine times 360 times tragepar, it would have one sine wave along the length there. This is why I created that parameter called waves. And then I'm going to multiply this times that height parameter. If I didn't have this height parameter, then the maximum and minimum values of that height dimension would be plus and minus one based off of the sine wave. And I can click on the verify relations to make sure I didn't have any typos or maybe possibly fat fingered something. Uh, so now let's click the OK button and I can go back to the sketch tab and right click and choose the check mark to finish up my sketch. And there you can see the surface that's going to be generated. To complete the feature, I'll click on the check mark. And now I can hide the sketch for the OD, the outer diameter, because I no longer need it. And to have this have mass, I'm going to use the thicken command. Just to make it easy on myself, I'm going to use the filter to select quilts to pick the surface, and then we can use the thicken command 
from here. And I'll leave the initial value of 0.1. In the graphics area, you get an arrow that you can flip whether you're adding to one side or other side of the quilt. In this case here, if I wanted to be symmetric about the quilt, I'm going to use the arrow on the dashboard because that gives you that additional uh, thickness direction option. So now I'll click the check mark and my wavy washer is created. So that concludes the variable section sweep part of this video. Now I'm going to throw in some additional bells and whistles in order to parameterize this feature and also have them driven by 3D annotations on the computer screen. And so if I go to my relations dialog box, which again I can access from my quick access toolbar because of the customization that I've done. I can expand local parameters and access my parameters and relations from the same dialog box. The other parameters that I want to drive from here are the diameter. And initially it had a value of one. Let's go and change this to a value of two. And let's also create a parameter for the thickness. I think I used 0.1 to begin with. Let's go and change this maybe to 0.05. And now, I'll click in the relations collector and I can pick my different features like the trajectory and pick the D0 dimension and it gets pasted into the relations editor. And I could type in the name diameter over here, but also you could use the insert parameter icon and select the parameter right from that dialog box. Again, I like to do that just to make sure I'm not picking the wrong thing or typing the wrong parameter. All right, let's also have the D6 dimension and we're gonna say that that is equal to insert parameter thickness. And so now I've got my relations. Let's verify, yep, no typos, awesome. And then click the OK button. And now when I regenerate my model, the diameter updated and as, as well as the thickness. Okay, so to be able to control these different values directly on the screen, I'm going to go to the Annotate tab, and I'm going to create a flat-to-screen annotation. And this one is going to be a note, and let's just locate it in the upper left-hand corner. And let me type in my text, number of waves, and then let's use ampersand. Oops, having a little issue here. Let me just go and use the editor for doing this number of waves and then ampersand waves I like to use all capitals and let's see my other dimensions that I am controlling diameter and then ampersand diameter and we have the height and then ampersand height to retrieve the value of that parameter and also thickness and change that to ampersand thickness. So now when I click OK, there I have my on-screen note that I can use to change my wavy washer. And so if I go and click on this, oops, let's change from quilt to annotation. click on the annotation, then I can double click on the number. Hey, let's enter in a value for the number of waves. An initial value of six, let's change that to a value of 10. And for the diameter, let's change the diameter from a value of two to a value of three. And let's change the height. Oh, try again to a value of 0.25. And now, when I go back to the Model tab and hit Regenerate, you can see that my variable section sweep and the thickness have automatically updated based on the parameters that I have in the annotation. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Creo Parametric channel to be informed when new videos are added. Thank you.